contracts with record companies, but fewer than one half of one percent ever get one. What happens to the other 99.5% while they're waiting for the big break? Well, they play wherever they can get anyone to listen to them. And they practice in basements and garages across America. Tonight, we're not taking you to meet another rock star. We're taking you to one of those garages. This one in Martinsburg, West Virginia. <laughs> It's real little. Remember when Kiss was real big? And I got into Kiss, and I liked the drummer for Kiss, so I said, I want to be him. I think we're going to make it. We have to. I mean, we've already screwed our lives up now, so... No, we are, we're going to make it. Not too long ago, they were only kids in the crowd themselves. Now they've moved up, out of the garage and on stage. And on a good night like this one, 500 fans come to hear Wrathchild. They started making a living two years ago, getting anywhere up to $1,000 for a night's work. But after they pay their four-man road crew and split up the money, they each end up with only $150 a week. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Hope we can get back here to play again. I do too. For that hundred fifty dollars, they have to stay on the move, playing four or five nights a week in clubs from Baltimore to Albany. If they slow down, they know there are a lot of other bands that would like to take their place. How long before you all start? Rathchild's promoter and booking agent is Rob Casey. He gets five to ten percent for each booking he makes. There are so many bands, local bands, that all have aspirations of, of being rock gods that uh, they compete with one another for bigger and better equipment, a bigger and better show. One band gets a little better off than the next, and the next one's trying to catch up to him. It's keeping up with the Joneses uh, in, a, in a rock and roll world. You know, if you don't have the biggest and the best show, you're second to someone who does. The expenses are incredible. Uh, the speakers, you blow a speaker, one speaker and it's eighty, ninety dollars to, to replace it. A light bulb, one bulb's forty bucks. Uh, you know, when, when you figure what these kids are making, you know, bottom line, before any of this happens, they're lucky to survive at all. Where's my guitar at? So many of them are killed off at this level. They, it's, it's amazing they even still want to try and do it. When they're not playing, headquarters for the band is drummer Shannon Larkin's house in Martinsburg. His mother, Bonnie, runs a beauty parlor in the basement and fits in the band between appointments. They range in age from 17 to 23, but they've already known for years what a heavy metal rocker is supposed to look like. Role models are everywhere. And the temptation is to copy, in the hope that someone else's well-proven success will rub off. We were having promotional pictures taken one time, and the guy had us, was taking the pictures, had us looking like a basketball team. Yeah, like yeah. the family we were, The two on the ends were like this, and then the ones in the middle were like this, and it was like, we tore them up as soon as we saw them. Do you have to be kind of mean, meaner? I mean, was that too nice? More spontaneous. Not really mean, or just... I mean, we look the same way all the time. I mean, we'll go out dressed like this, go to the grocery store looking like this, you know. You get stared at, but Good balls if like they that. didn't stare at you, then you'd have to worry that you'd look like everybody else. Yeah, I think you have to really get into it to be like a heavy metal band. You go see a band like Metallica or Exciter, 
and they're like maniacs, all of them are maniacs on stage. And that, that's what I like to see when I walk into the club, because you can feel the energy flowing off the stage. It's like, ugh, you know, energy. This may be as good as it gets for Rathchild and their fans. When the band plays on their home turf here at Turner's Skate Palace in Hagerstown, Maryland, they become accessible to kids who may never have a chance to touch an actual rock star. I loved high school. I thought it was great. But it came down to, uh, you want to play New York City or do you want to go to school? You know, do you want to go to Delaware or Maine or do you want to go to school? And it was like, if I wanted to keep going to school, then I'd be holding the band back. When Shannon dropped out of school, it was the end of the earth. You know, we had, we were really, really, really judged. The friends and neighbors. Now, our families have gone right along with it. They look past the long hair and the earrings and the cut-off T-shirts and everything. People that really know these kids look past all of that. And as far as their neighbors, <laughs> they don't really know what to expect next, <laughs> as far as what's going to come in and out. Everybody says, oh, you'll get tired of it. You'll... What are you going to do when you're 50? It's better to go through life doing, having fun and, and doing what you want to do than to say when you're 50, say, man, I wish I'd have did that. I wish I would have did this. And so I'm going to do it. And if, when I get to be 50, if I can... If that's the end of the road, then that's fine by me, because I have fun with my life. At 4 o'clock in the morning, a young band doesn't think much about what will happen if they don't become rich and famous. Maybe it doesn't matter. To another young band, practicing somewhere in another garage tonight, Rathchild, in some ways, is already a success. They were a very young band from Western Maryland that was real, real talented. Now they're a product. It's not a job, it's a way of life. So they definitely miss a lot of, you know, their childhood if you, you know, want to look at it in those terms. To them, it's worth it. it you know, they're, they're taking their shot. They all want to be stars. She went under the mirror. I could use more sleep and more time to practice and more time to write because we don't have much time at all. It could be better, but I'm not complaining. You know, I'm very happy. Very happy person. <laughs> <laughs> 